comedy duo Lenny Henry and Don French will be returning to our screens tonight as they join forces for comic relief and fans couldn't be happier. The much-loved pair are always good for a laugh and are considered to be two of Britain's funniest comedians. Red Nose Day is the yearly appeal day for comic relief, which is a charity founded by Lenny and screenwriter Richard Curtis in 1985. The first telethon Red Nose Day was held 35 years ago and had Sir Lenny, Don and many others on screen. This year's event will be presented by none other than A.J. Ajudu, Joel Domit, Zoe Ball, Patty McGuinness and David Tennant. Many skits will be shown about popular TV shows, including EastEnders, The Apprentice and Waterloo Road. Huge TV hit The Traders will also feature on the yearly show. As it returns to our screen, we take a look back at Lenny and Don's relationship, who shocked fans with their shock split after 25 years of marriage. Here are the highs and lows of the comedians' time together and what led to them going their separate ways. Meeting of Minds Lenny, 63, met Don, 64, when they were both members of Comic Strip in 1980. With its irreverent skits, the alternative comedy show launched both their careers as well as Jennifer Saunders and her husband Adrian Edmondson's. Don encouraged Lenny to move over to alternative comedy where he built a career as a stand-up performer and character comedian. After enjoying each other's company, while getting up to hijinks with their comedy pals, the couple decided to make it official and married in London's Covent Garden in 1984. Expanding their family Don and Lenny adopted their daughter Billy when she was two weeks old. Before welcoming the little girl, the pair tried to have children naturally, but without success. Don told the Sunday Telegraph, I had grief for a while. I did have miscarriages, so I've had grief about that as well. But the minute Billy arrived that was it for me. She fills everything I needed to be as a mother. The proud parents doted on their daughter, with the vicar of Dibley star calling Billy the greatest achievement of her life. Shock split after 25 years of marriage, Don and Lenny divorced on the grounds of his unreasonable behavior in 2010. The statement issued on behalf of the couple read, The separation is entirely amicable and they fully intend to maintain their close friendship. Their priority is to commit to the future joint parenting of their daughter. There was no further comment made about the reason behind their split, however, Lenny told The Express in 2016, there's generally a situation where one partner wants the marriage to finish more than the other. I think maybe one of us did, then the other one did, and then the other did over a period of time and then, in the end, we thought, oh, actually maybe we both do. We knew it wasn't possible to continue, he added. It had been reported that Lenny cheated on Don in 1999, an allegation he denied. However, Don's unofficial biographer Alice and Boyer said the comic duo had been outgrowing their marriage before their split. Dawn and Lenny have long been moving in increasingly different directions and have spent little time together in the past two years, she told the Mail. Best of friends after the split Dawn told the Mirror, Remarkably, we seem to have shifted with relative ease from a 25-year marriage to a lasting friendship. I am amazed by us, there is no war, we've turned out to be the best of friends. There were lots of good years but one tricky last year. She added, this had been a very happy marriage for a very long time and you don't stop looking after each other or caring for each other, whatever has happened. 
new beginnings and finding love again since splitting with Lenny, Don who was previously 20 stone, underwent a huge transformation and lost 7 stone. Don needed to lose weight urgently ahead of a hysterectomy. The doctor told me that if I could lose some weight before the op, they would be able to do it via keyhole, and I would recover in three weeks or so. Otherwise it would be big open surgery, and three months to recover. Don said that her approach was simple, low calorie meals and upping her exercise. No magic wand, just tiny, joyless low-cal eating and lots more walking for weeks and weeks, she explained. In 2012, the actress started dating Mark, who leads a drug and alcohol abuse charity, which was launched by Don's late mom Felicity. Opening up about how she was nervous to get back in the dating game, Don admitted, I thought oh god, how repulsive. I'll have to buy new pants. Dating was excruciating and difficult as I'm not an accomplished flirter. Then, bang, I met somebody else. I started to claim my life back. I know that I will make a good life for myself with all sorts of things as armor. Including stuff. My new chap is teaching me that I never knew. Now my life is in Cornwall with him. I hope it is a life together. Don's dreams came true when the pair got hitched in Cornwall, where Don was born, after only a year of dating in 2013. The intimate ceremony was attended by those closest to the star, including Lenny. i